Neil Armstrong's story is obviously inspirational for the people at NASA. How inspirational do you think Neil's story and the accomplishments of Apollo 11 are to the world as at large? Oh, I think it's pretty obvious, um, both in the film and in real life, uh, what an impact uh, landing on the moon in 1969 had on the world. The people around the world recognize um, NASA and the United States for our accomplishments. And uh, Neil was an important part of that. There are a number of movies that are done about space. What do you think separates First Man from other movies that have depicted the NASA, NASA and their space program? What I really like about First Man is that it's, um, its intensity, it really delivers that feel for you know, how risky the operation could be, um, uh, how people felt about it, um, and, and it also sort of is a gritty look at what the real environment was like in the 1960s. I mean, the, you know, people weren't happy with the space program necessarily, and there wasn't a giant budget for NASA all the time. Um, so um, sort of recorrecting that perspective that people have, this, this golden glow we have of, of what um, the Apollo program was, um, you know, the movie really is, is a good corrective to that. that, that it, was, it was real life, just like we have real life today. Uh, there was the same sort of circumstances back in the 60s, um, and they accomplished great things. Do you think other movies have over-romanticized space oh, travel? Yeah, I, I, I think for the last 50 years, as we've been thinking about Apollo, there's been sort of this narrative, as historians like to say, um, there's this narrative of um, you know, this, this one success after the other. We didn't put a foot wrong except occasionally. Um, and um, and that, that, you know, it was a foregone conclusion that, that we would win the race to the moon. It was all a lot closer than all that. And uh, it's useful for us to remember uh, in, in these days as we're preparing to go back to the moon and on to Mars, uh, that, you know, there are struggles along the way and, and things are expensive and there's some risk involved. Um, and, but the only way to deal with that is, is to tackle it head on and, and do your best. How much is loss an important factor in the progress of the space program? Well, sadly, uh, it, it's a reality of life. And you, in a business like space exploration, um, you know, there's, there's a risk, and, and you're launching people into space on rockets that could explode. It's, um, it's not easy, um, and, uh, and sadly, loss comes with that. We do our very best to avoid that, um, but um, you know, there are losses in one way or the other. Either, either you lose people, or people spend a lot of time making sure we don't lose people, and then their personal lives are often paid a price. So, um, it's, it's, a, it's a tough business, but uh, well worth the, the investment and effort. Mark Armstrong told me when I spoke to him recently that it was just circumstance that Neil Armstrong ended up being, to be, ended up being the first man to walk on the moon. But those circumstances paid off. Wasn't he the right first person? Um, I, I've heard other astronauts say that, that too, that, that Neil was the right guy to, to be the first man. His humility, uh, his uh, understanding that, that he just happened to be the the one of the 400,000 people who worked on that program who got to be the first one to walk on the moon. Because any one of those Apollo missions that launched an incredible string of successes from uh, the fall of uh, 1967 uh, through, uh, through you know, 1968 and into 69, um, all those successes added up. And if they hadn't happened in the sequence they had, any number of reasons could have pushed that crew off. And uh, it would have been somebody else, one of the other astronauts who was the first to step foot on the moon. NASA has the option not to support a movie. What was it about First Man that made this a film NASA couldn't resist being a part of? Um, I think the seriousness with which the production team, you know, Damien, Chazelle, and, uh, and Josh Singer, the scriptwriter, uh, they were both, uh, and, and the whole production team surrounding them, they were all very intent on getting the story uh, exactly right and to tell a good story, but also um, to do it in a way that, uh, that delivered the message. Um, and uh, we're always happy to work with other professionals.